Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Avid Max Tying Tuesdays. Today we're going to show you how to tie a water boatman. This is a wonderful pattern for still water fishing. Uh, it starts off with the 12 aught Vivas thread in black. We're going to use a little bit of scud back for the backing of our fly, the 1 8 in black as well. On top of that, I'm going to put a little bit of flash, just the narrow pearlescent tinsel. And then the dubbing of our fly will be a blend. We're going to do about a 50-50 blend on this of Ice Dub Peacock Black with Ice Dub uh, UV Black. And then we're going to use some legs, just a little bit of Life Flex in black as well. All right, so I got my hook and my vise, and I did a little bit of wire on this fly. It's got the 015 lead wire wrapped, just about 10 times on there. I like doing lead on these, these bugs because water boatmen are so erratic in movement in lakes that they're, they're kind of going up and down in the water column. And so you can mimic that if you have some, some good weight um, and kind of pop it up and, and uh, just give it some movement and different things when you're fishing it to make it look nice and realistic. So I'm going to wrap my Vivas black thread here over top of it and create just a slight profile, cover everything up and lock it all down there. Getting ready to, to tie in our, our backing and, and flash materials here. So it doesn't have to be pretty, just something to lock it in. I always tend to overdo my thread wraps there a little bit, but uh, just covering it up, locking it in. So from there, I'm going to use a little bit of tinsel. This is just going to be kind of a flashback on this boatman. So we're going to tie that in first because it's going to be right on top. Just like so, fix it in and wrap it down. And then we're going to come back in and do the same thing with our scud backing. This is the eighth inch black that we mentioned right on top. Let's try that again. The one behave. So let's spin our thread there. Give it a nice pinch wrap here. Just like so. There we go. And we just want to keep it right on top. It's going to be the backing of our boatman. And then we'll have an underbody and, and some legs up here towards the front. So once that's nice and clean where we want it, just kind of make sure it's going the direction here. There we are. We're going to add our dubbing now. So this is that blend. It's about 50-50 of the Peacock, UV Peacock Black and the Ultraviolet Black. And so it's, it's really mostly black and each one of those dubbings has just one other color. So the uh, Peacock Black has a little bit of green in it and the UV Black has a little bit of purple in it. And I like to mix them together and just kind of utilize both of those, those color palettes. Um, purple and, and green, as we all know, are, are great aquatic colors. So we're going to dub it pretty healthy here, give a nice profile to this boatman. If you uh, have some back swimmers in your location, you can do this same pattern, just uh, a little bit larger and it will imitate those as well. Just work our way forward here, slowly but surely with our W noodle. When you're working with the ice dubbing, you want to use a wax or some saliva or something. I, I like to use wax because it's so picky, it can be a little challenging to get that noodle that you're looking for. So the wax helps a lot with that, using the Loon Lotac wax here. And just keep on going all the way up to the front of our fly. Sometimes you'll see me turn my vise sideways when I'm doing these dubby noodles just to kind of get that hook point out of the way there. Don't always do it, but it is helpful. I'll just move that out of the way. So 
think that is going to give me just about the body that I'm looking for here. And so now we can come on up and bring that scud back over. And almost all the way to the front, leave ourselves just a little bit of room. Because we're going to tie in some legs underneath here as well. So we'll go over it. We're going to kind of pull it tight. A couple times over and a few times underneath here. Before we come in and clip it out. Okay, so from there I'm going to bring the flash over the top also. And we're going to wrap that down just a few times to secure it. Without crowding our hook eye. And we can trim out our excess. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to build just a little head. And then I'm going to add our legs and antenna. Maybe actually two sets of legs here. So I'm going to create a head and then I'm going to come back in and add our legs. So with this life flex, you can see it has a a prominent bend in it. So you want to be aware of that as you're tying it in. You want it facing inwards towards the bug. And I'll show you that here. Just like so. And we can pull it and kind of position it how we want it, but you can see how it kind of flares back towards the body of the fly. That's what we're looking for. And then on the front, I'm going to come in and I'm going to clip it, but I'm going to leave just a little bit sticking out to give that secondary pair of, of legs that they have. Right on the side there. Just like so. I can clip that out like we did the other side. Quick and easy. And then I'm just going to dub over that a little bit here before we go to whip finish it out. Great still water pattern. If you got bugs swimming around close to the shore, going up and down, moving around quite a bit, it is likely that it's either going to be one of these boatmen or, as I mentioned, maybe a back swimmer. Either way, if you got the right size in your box, this fly is going to be productive for you. So now we've got a nice pretty head on this fly. I'm just going to come back in and whip finish it. Like so. Pull our legs out of the way here. And there we are. Add a little bit of glue. Keep everything locked in. got ourselves a nice completed water boatman. Great fly. This is actually the first fly that I ever tied and caught a fish on. So it is definitely worth whipping out. There's your water boatman. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you have a fly you'd like to see us tie in the future, leave us a comment below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there. My heart over my mind. I'm not over.